this video, I'm going to cover both the if function and the ifs function in Google Sheets. So in this first example here, I have a data set of purchase orders. And the second column here, we have a field that indicates yes if the order was international or no if the order was a domestic order. And what we want to do is utilize the if function in this column here to assign the correct shipping charge based on the yes or no value in this field. So I'm going to insert the if function. The first input is our logical expression, which is our test. What is our test? Well, if the value in this cell here equals yes, then we want to assign the international shipping charge cost here. Now I want to hit F4 to lock this cell down. You can see those dollar signs appear in front of the column and row reference. That means this cell is locked so that when we drag this formula down, it still points to this cell. The last input of the if function is the value if false. If this value is false, which means not equal to yes, the only other option is no, then we want to assign the domestic shipping charge. Again, I want to hit F4 to lock that cell down so that it always points to this cell. So I'll hit enter and then drag our function down. And you can see anytime we have a value of no for domestic, we get the $5 domestic rate anytime we have a yes for an international order we get $25 for the international rate in this next example we have a data set that consists of two fields we have a location column and employee ID and you can see in this first field for the location we only have a value that is populated each time the value changes and you'll find in the real world, there are reports out there that often look like this. And this is not helpful when you want to filter or query off of this data. We have empty cells here. This is another example of where you can utilize the if function. So what we want to do here is create a location field that populates the location next to every single employee ID. So we're going to insert the if function. Our first input is our logical expression or test. Well, what do we want to test? We want to see if the value in this location field cell is not equal to blank or nothing, then we want to pull that value in. If the value is false or is blank, then we want to pull the cell above it. So you can see when I do that, it populates the correct branch number next to each employee ID. So you can see the value here in this first formula cell is a true value because A2 is not equal to blank. So it pulls in this value here. But then when we get down to here, we have a series of three false values. So what is the value of false? Well, pull the cell above it. So we have true, false, 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 true again, false, 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 and so on and so on. So that is another example of where the if function can come in handy to help clean up your data. Now what we can do from here is convert this formula to hard numbers by simply just copying and pasting values only. And then we can move this over to our first column. In this next example, I'm going to talk about the ifs plural function in Google Sheets. Now there are two key differences between the singular if and the ifs. One, the ifs allows more than one logical expression. It allows multiple tests and multiple outcomes. Secondly, the ifs plural function does not have a false statement. It's just multiple tests with multiple true outcomes. So in this example here, we have 
employee ID numbers with monthly sales. And what we want to do is utilize the ifs function to assign a sales bonus based on these thresholds here. Anything that is greater than or equal to $7,500 in monthly sales gets a 5% bonus. Anything that is between $5,000 and just under $7,500 gets a 2.5% bonus. Anything less than $5,000 gets no sales bonus. So we're going to insert the ifs function. Our first condition or test is if the value in B2 is greater than or equal to $7,500, we want to assign it the value here of 5%. And again, I want to hit F4 to lock the cell down so that it stays fixed when we drag our formula down. Our second condition is if B2 is greater than or equal to $5,000, we want to get the value of 2.5% in this cell here. So again, I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Our final test is if B2 is less than $5,000 we want to assign it 0% in this cell here. So you can see anyone who had monthly sales over $7,500 got a value of 5%. Anyone between 5,000 and just under 7,500 got 2.5% and anyone under $5,000 got zero for the sales bonus. Those are just a few practical examples of the if and the ifs functions in Google Sheet.